File Offer of Varicosa, Wikipedia Article Audio File Offer of Varicosa is a pathogenic, demitiaceous fungus that is a common cause of chromoblastomycosis. It has also been reported to cause subcutaneous pheohyphomycosis and mycetoma in very rare cases. In the natural environment, it can be found in rotting wood, soil, wasp nests, and plant debris. P. varicosa is sometimes referred to as Phyllophora americana, a closely related environmental species which, along with P. varicosa, is also categorized in the P. carinii clade. History the fungus was first isolated by Edgar Mathias Medler in 1915 from a chronic skin lesion on the buttock of a 22-year-old man in Boston, Massachusetts who presented with varicose lesions on the buttocks and feet. In consultation with Roland Thaxter, Medler considered the fungus to represent a previously undescribed genus because the successive separation of the conidia and their maintained attachment to the cup-shaped portion of the sporogenous cells were unique characteristics not seen in any other genus. He named the genus Phyllophora, meaning shallow cup bearer to represent the characteristic shape and the species epithet varicosa in reference to the resemblance of the lesion to varicose tuberculosis. Thaxter suggested that P. varicosa should be classified under the subdivision, calorie of SACCRDOS classification system. P. varicosa produces vase-shaped phyllides with dark brown, cup-shaped collarettes. Each phyllide is typically 3 to 4 mm wide and 4 to 7 mm long. Teardrop-shaped, smooth-walled conidia are formed at the apices of the collarettes and accumulate in clusters. Conidia are typically 2.5 to 4 mm by 1.5 to 3 mm in size. Hyphae are brown, cylindrical, and septate and are composed of thick-walled cells. The hyphae do not produce conidia. P. varicosa grows well over a range of temperatures, 2137 degrees C with an optimal growth temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Colonies grow slowly on oxalic acid and malt extract agar. Grown on saburats agar at 3 degrees Celsius, the colony attains a diameter of 3-4 cm after two weeks incubation. Morphology and Physiology Although P. varicosa was originally discovered in human tissue, it is known to occur naturally in soil, plant debris, wasp nests, and rotting wood. In a study where multiple strains of P. varicosa were found growing in rotting wood, soil, and the bark and log of pine trees in Japan, it was found that these isolates from the natural environment had no distinct differences from P. varicosa isolated from human tissue. P. varicosa is widespread and can be found in Africa, Asia, Australia, North and South America, and Europe. Most strains of P. varicosa available in culture collections are derived from human mycoses. Ecology P. varicosa is a common cause of chromoblastomycosis, and a much rarer cause of subcutaneous pheohyphomycosis and mycetoma. All three diseases have the potential to become chronic. P. varicosa has also been reported to cause cutaneous infections, prosthetic valve endocarditis, and mycotic keratitis. However, due to its low pathogenicity, P. varicosa does not often cause infection. Infections caused by P. varicosa can occur in both immunocompromised individuals, such as individuals who are undergoing immunosuppressive therapies or who have AIDS, as well as in healthy individuals. A healthy individual who became infected with P. varicosa gained initial exposure through direct contact of the skin with soil containing the fungus. 
Cases of chromoblastomycosis, subcutaneous phaehyphomycosis, and cutaneous infections caused by P. varicosa have been reported to present with crusted, warty lesions found on the face, hands, shin, and sole of the foot. Lesions are rarely observed on the back and upper limbs. Pathology Antifungal drugs like itraconazole and terbinafine are typically used to treat infections caused by P. varicosa. Amphotericin B, another antifungal drug, is only used occasionally, as it is cardiotoxic and is unsuitable for long-term therapy. While the spread of chromoblastomycosis to the muscle and bone is usually rare, in cases where antifungal drugs alone are insufficient in controlling the dissemination of the infection, limb amputation is required. Topical heat therapy, such as the use of disposable pocket warmers that sustain a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius or greater for a period of 12 hours, as well as localized cryotherapy, may be effective in preventing the growth of P. varicosa and treating lesions. P. varicosa exhibits some resistance to antifungal drugs, and prescribed treatments often require a combination of antifungal drugs. The use of fluconazole, followed by the combined use of oral itraconazole and the topical application of copper sulfate solution, was reportedly successful in treating a phaehyphomycotic ulcer caused by P. varicosa. In vitro, Different isolates of P. varicosa respond differently to the same combinations of antifungal drugs. The combination of amphotericin B and terbinafine was observed to cause a synergistic effect for some isolates but cause no effect in others. Treatment <laughs>